get this meeting going then. It's uh, 6.05 on Wednesday, March 16th. Uh, meeting will come to order, I suppose, is how it goes. Um, any adjustments to the agenda? As written. No comments, we'll move on. There's nobody here for public comment, so we'll move on. Um, can we take a minute, though, to read the minutes from, because I would like to approve them, but I haven't even read them. So I'm going to take a minute to sign in here. Um, sorry to. Uh, the minutes from 3-2, I would like to read real quickly. Okay, I guess I'll make a motion, if I am allowed to do that, to accept the meeting minutes from February 2nd. No discussion? Are you froze? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right, no, that was good. Uh, no discussion? I'm the, oh, you're still reading, sorry. I flew through it. Yeah, that's, that looks good. Right, from what I can remember, it looks like it was all, um, so yeah, I'll make a motion, I guess, then, to accept the minutes from March 9th, March 2nd, March 2nd. Any discussion? All the, everybody says yes. Yay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Dennis isn't here, so the next meeting on the, or the next item on the agenda is to discuss... And I really wish Dennis was here, because I did take some notes, but it was still, I always get so flustered when I feel like I'm on the spot. And the I should have listened to it, because we can, we can watch it on HDTV, and then you don't have to remember anything. Well, and your husband was here, which was awesome, was there, which was quite nice. So if you guys had a chance to discuss anything after the meeting, chime in with whatever I'm forgetting. They do, I don't have a calendar in front of me. So today's the 16th. I told them that we would, that we were meeting tonight and that we were going to go through the survey and the application and we're going to try and finalize both of those items tonight as far as the questions and all of that goes. Skip Lindsay was there and he is a very active member of the Planning Commission, the town, Town's Planning Commission, you know, is the new, well, not new, but, um, and when they were trying to solicit people's ideas and input and thoughts, and it proved to be quite difficult, I think, as we all knew going into this, but he really, really wants to offer his best and sage advice. I didn't invite him here tonight because I thought we had too much work to actually do on it before we sought his advice on how best to disperse this. Um, but like I said to them, we're not into learning how, you know, we're not into reinventing the wheel. We're just trying to be the, the voice of information and Skip really wants to help us get this done and get this done right. There was seemed to be a little bit of, they want paper copies mailed to every household. They, they don't want to just do it. And so I asked them right then, can we, uh, can we spend ARPA money on that then? Because how, how are we supposed to do this without money? We have no budget. Mm -hmm. And they, you said, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, you can well, spend ARPA money on it. Luckily, I made this into a format that we can mail. It's sweet. Not just in a survey yep. monkey format. Survey monkey point. format, right. Because I guess skip. Well, along those lines, I think we can make it more than 10 questions. Because if they have a budget for us, we don't need to, like, just squeeze this. I, I have some uh, some additions I'd like to add to the right. survey. So when we get to that, we can talk about that. 10 for. Uh, right, but just keep in mind, if we get too wordy and too many questions, people are going to look at it and toss it. So you yeah. have to be, I don't need to be rude, but if, if we, if we, if we start doing this and there's pages and pages of questions, people are going to be bored with it in five minutes. So yeah, let's, 
let's get to that. That's a great. great okay. Idea. So great. as far as the select board goes, they also I told them that we're meeting today. They would like us to. They kind of really want us to turn this around as soon as possible and get the information out as soon as possible so that we can get, let me look at a calendar again, sorry. This thing keeps kicking me out. Uh, must be a way I can look at a calendar on here, right? These smartable particles. Um, calendar right there, calendar. So let me look. So that's how I look at it. So I told them we were meeting today. They would like hmm, it emailed and sent to them hopefully Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Turned around due date on the bottom of the application for, I think on it is April 1st. We'll keep the April 1st due date. I think they wanted it sooner than that, but I don't want to, I told them too that I didn't want to be pressured. Your, your, your face is like what? You're, you're WTF of me right now. What's up? No, I that's I, too I'm, soon. I, I don't know. If, if we get it to them, you know, if we get one application by that date because it's the only one prepared, I guess that's what they get to weigh. They assured me that they were excited for our work, thought our work was valuable, so to speak. I, I didn't feel like they were blowing smoke, you know what I mean? I feel like they definitely wanted us to continue in the vein and to I don't get, even know how we can get it out and get responses by that so they just you know, I think they just wanted it to them to them to look at right yeah, like, yeah, but they no 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 because they don't need anything to them when did I wanted to I want to say I could, that, honestly I'd like to get and, this to skip me to have him just look at it before we put it out to the community just because he's been working so hard on on the town plan and all that or put it to the select board something just for them to say yep i feel like you covered it we'll send the survey out kind of thing what were you they saying? don't want to no. they they want us to just do it and take care of it they they don't yep they don't need to <clears throat> approve anything they don't want to they are entrusting us to do and to come up with the criteria and the questions and the this 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 all in our laps. Well, April first, I think, is just unreasonable. Then. Okay. I mean, to even get it out, it's going to take a week to get it printed and mailed out to everybody. To get a response, is going to take one week, if not two, two and right, then a right. week to call calling all the information right. and then Where's get it? it to them at their next meeting or before. I don't care. Uh, they may or unless it's meaningless. You know, and they just want whatever applications are sitting out there right now within the next two weeks so they can process them. I've oh, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, Try okay. again. You're for Jose, you are. Yeah, sorry. I lost you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I think then you're right. And they meet the first Monday of every month. Is that? Mm -mm, what is it? The second and fourth Mondays? Yeah, yeah second and fourth Mondays. That's Thank right. You. Uh, so I can go back to them and tell them that's just too much time because you're absolutely, I, I, I got flustered last night, I'm not going to lie. It, yeah. it was very much like, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, like yeah. mm -hmm, that. You thought you that. did awesome, Edgar, and I don't think they're, I think, I think deadlines are just meant to get people like a little fire going. I, I think we'll get it out when we get it out. That's so, All right. <clears throat> I don't know. I, he thought you handled the meeting very well and that, that they were very supportive of us and yes. you, you were well, yeah, well, they, they seem. And I think so. I think if we just tell them we've got it, and we'll tell you when it's going out. Yep. You know. Yep. We'll do our best. Yep. Yep. I think it may behoove us, if that's the right word, to look at the town plans or the town the. So I spent the day looking at the hazard mitigation plan and the town plan. That's why I have other things to add to the survey. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. All right. So let's move on then from reviewing. I think, let me just double, let me just hold on. Uh, I did never get an answer as to how the funds were going to be dispersed. I don't, I okay. didn't push that question and it didn't get answered. I did ask it, but it was kind of amongst all the things that I was asking all at the same time. So it didn't yeah. really get directly Address? The only reason why that matters right now is because we can't put the application out until we have a, under, an understanding of the deadlines. 
<clears throat> so far. I want. They yeah. want. They. 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 Yeah. Their deadline is. Do, let's do. get it done as soon as possible. So we'll set our own deadlines and our own realistic deadlines. And they may not like them because I think that they're feeling nervous that they've spent some of the money already. And I don't think that they're itching to spend the money, but I think they'd like to get the ball rolling and get people interested and involved and. I don't, you know what I mean? When like, you say you've spent some of the money already, what do you mean on the... On the sound system stuff. Yeah. That's so, not the so, owl. That so it, it, it's not... It, it's, it, what we needed was just a clarification from them. If we set dates like three dates over the course of two years or whatever it may be, <clears throat> are they going to honor that? Because if they decide they're going to give all of the money on the first disbursement and we've just told people that they can have two different dates or three different dates. So that was the question I had. Will they honor our due dates if we set them? Uh, because they, they are technically in charge of the money. So unless we get there okay for our due dates, we can't really set them. Right. And if it's April 1st, right. we're already out of so time. So let me find it. Right. It's, it's like 30 days. Oh, see, so they think, they seem to think that a two-week due date, so that's when they came. If we get it to them on the 17th, it goes in the mail on the 18th. That gives people two weeks less than. So we should push it back because April 1st is exactly Heather, two can weeks. We clarify for something? Can we clarify if we're talking about the application or the survey right now? Both. Both. They want the yeah. survey out, and yeah. then two weeks later, yes. all applications are yes. due. So that doesn't answer my question at all, because I wanted to have several dates where the applications were due. I've asked Peter this. I asked Michael this. Right. I've, I it doesn't, I wish it I doesn't sound meeting. like that. It, it, the whole point of, the, of meeting with them was to talk to them about our plan for having several different dates that we would give people, like rolling dates, and that would be on the application. You, The dates are going to be, you know, April 1st. September 1st and December Right. I, know, just, I did not get a clar clarification on that. I'm not even sure okay. it, it came up in that clear of a manner. Um, as far as due dates came, they were just like get it done. Uh, again, they it's, and I'd have to re-watch because I, I didn't take very concise notes apparently. I'll watch <laughs> the meeting yes, and try it on. Right. And then I'll call Peter for if you don't mind. Yeah, and I'll and just clarification mm. unless you want to call them but I feel like I'm not the way I described it didn't translate somehow no. so both to Peter and to you because I, I I talked to both of you guys about it and somehow it didn't get answered so I think I'm not describing it clearly is my problem I got of, it, of what it <laughs> right What's I that? think it's the same thing we've been trying to get from them and convey right. if you want us to do this process then let us do the process get the information out there get feedback back from people and then convey that to the select board so that they can make a decision. I think they just want to be told what to do. They don't okay. want, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that they're going to be well, fine. If they're okay with us setting yeah. the deadlines and they're going to honor them. I really just, believe they will. I, I really believe okay. they will because they know that it needs to be spent correctly. They know that we don't want to rush. They know that while there is a lot of money there that we want as many people to benefit, and they agree that we want as many people to benefit from this as well. So it's not that they they care, but I think that they are trusting us to do the job that they've asked us to do. And so okay. I think that we can just move forward and start laying some stuff and laying some serious brickwork. I mean, I know we've done a lot of planning, but now we have serious things to look at and to decide on and get it out. So, yes, I think... Oh, I'm second, I'm having a kid moment. <laughs> Ten four. Sorry. No worries. That was oh, fast. Uh, so, so, where are we on the agenda? Um, uh, so, we just reviewed the uh, select board meeting as much as I could. Um, they didn't tell me what the... Tara taking notes? What's that? Is Tara taking notes? Oh. Half. <laughs> I was taking my own notes. <laughs> no, nope, I'm not taking notes either. Shoot. You mind, Tara? I okay. just volunteered. I'm terrible. Uh, as you know, I'm terrible at taking. Uh, so, 
couple of things that I felt discouraged about was, yes, not getting the rolling date stuff answered, not getting how the funds would be dispersed answered. Uh, they did encourage us to look, and it sounds like you spent your day today looking at the town plan and the suggestions in the town plan and how yeah. that can best help. Um, you know, they want to revitalize Woodbury. I don't... I think I was... I didn't mean to be rude, but I don't know if I got the answer to what is there to revitalize. Shatney's is leaving. We have no store. We Shatney's have a leaving. fire department. Mm -hmm. So what is there to revitalize? I didn't know Shatney's was leaving. Um, I think the thought, from what I gathered from the town plan, was to have it bike and pedestrian friendly around the center. Especially what? I mean, there's no kids that walk to school. There are a lot of bikers that come through. I don't know about the pedestrians so much, but um, so that's, I, th I think it's a little bit of if they build it, they will come. You know what I mean? So if you make the town pretty, maybe people will actually want well, to That's happen. millions of yeah, dollars. I, d I don't know what you, you mean like in the town green, trying to build something in the little town green where Rachel's house was? I mean, they don't get into specifics in the town plan, but they did specifically say pedestrian and bike friendly corridors <laughs> or town space or some such. And so. bike, of course, means pedal bike. Bike is not like they're not doing anything to revitalize or attract four wheelers or dirt bikers or anybody with an alternative sense of fun besides pedal. Well, there's that was one thing. So are we talking about the survey now? Oh, we're talking about all of it, babe. We're 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 okay. We're we're, so if we're, on, if we're on the survey. We'll, we'll move on. Yes, we've we've we've, we've, we've reviewed the select board meeting, um, and t together is reviewing the survey and application, which I know confuses things, but I kind of feel like, in some ways, they do go hand in hand. Um, so, so there, there are some things that I, there, I liked the survey, Tara, a lot. I feel like we can because we can expand it. We it's can a be, good starting point. Yeah. Yeah, it was great actually, and unfortunately. <laughs> After I got through reviewing it, then it wouldn't let me go back to the first three questions. Right. It like act like I had already answered already them. Had, and then yes, mine too. I can go back on the I computer. like the way you said them, so forgive me if I'm like recreating the wheel in terms of your first three questions. Because mm -hmm. so one one of the things that um, Katie or Grace or one of those gals sent us was um, a survey from another town. Jericho had done a survey. It was back when the guidelines were there, so it was a lot easier for them to make a survey because there was the guidelines and that made it shorter. But what they did instead of the rating system that you did, which was to ask people to rate it like one through five, they only had five or six things. So <clears throat> in the end, they were able to say, you know, such and such percentage of people said this was their number one thing. Such and such percent of people said this was their second favorite thing. And what that does for us, I think the way that it's done as like, I don't know what it is exactly right now in the survey. It's like cares for, doesn't care for, or whatever. Positive, negative, and neutral. So you could you could just write positive on all of them, which is what someone like me would do. I'd be like, I like it. Oh yeah, that too. Oh, you know, and then you don't you don't end up getting a rating system. Mm -hmm. So I think I think somehow we need to do a rating system, which doesn't necessarily jive with me adding things because um, once you get to rating more than 10 things, you're like, I don't even know where I left off, you know? But yeah. so here's some of the other areas that I found looking at the, ha the hazard mitigation and then the town plan. So these are some of the things. Pandemic preparation in general. I feel like you had a good way of writing that. So there was one, that, one question that you had that hit like PPE and all of that. I liked that one. And then broadband access. And <clears throat> under that, I think we can add a little bit because they argue that for like educational purposes, bringing businesses to town and also as a, as a, um, emergency. Which was number was that? I'm sorry to interrupt. Which number? So which number on your survey? Yeah. Um, there was, I don't, you had one on broadband. I don't, but I don't know if it was, um, mixed in with other ones, but, okay. uh, but in, in the, in the town plan and the hazard mitigation plan, they mentioned how broadband is one of the problems in terms of hazards in our town Okay. because people don't have that ability to, um, use their cell phone in case of an emergency and your house can burn down before you get, you can't get to your phone, obviously, because your house is burning right. and you don't have good access. You so can't are we supposed, you want us to explain the pros and cons of each subcategory? 
Not at all, but I had a little blurb that I found in the, let me see if I can find it right here in my sheet, um, that they included in the, in their description that could just be part of that, part of that blurb. Okay. Can you forward it to me? Yeah, I mean, there's so much here that I, yes, I will definitely, like, I'll put together my list and then you guys can take it or leave it. But, so, <clears throat> I'll, I'm going to read my list and then we can figure out how it goes. Digitize land records, make capital improvements, that one that you had, the fire department, outdoor recreation, flood mitigation, the wastewater issues, increase the vitality of the village center, create a town administration position, uh -huh. administrative position. Increase diversity of housing options, dot, dot, dot. Address energy efficiency, environmental remediation. Protect and preserve important historic and cultural res resources. Maintain Woodbury's roads for uh, uh, at a high standard for safety, efficiency, and roadway. Increase cell phone and broadband coverage for social, economic, and educational um, and emergencies. And yeah, so that those were ba the basic ones that I got from looking at the hazard mitigation and the... Um, so some of them are just breaking down ones that you already have. <clears throat> I, I thought that we had discussed uh, wastewater and thought that the amount that we would need to do a wastewater project here or a water project here in town would not, well, we, we wouldn't even come close to, to even to meeting a, a, a 10% um, match for any sort of grant we could get. I mean, so we're I talking that, multiple. I I think it's worth putting it out there if people think that's important and we'll see if they do because if somebody puts an application in for wastewater work then and we have some resources we can tell them to tap into for a uh, grant okay. you know or maybe they don't need a lot of money maybe they need just like ten thousand to get them over the next hump we i, I don't think we can decide whether or not we the, the town has money for things. You know what I mean? Like, I think we put it out there on the survey and see what people think. I don't think wastewater is going to fall on the highest. It's not that exciting of a thing. I think most people would want to see recreation and uh, town beach or those kinds of things. But I think because it's on the town plan. Town beach is already poo-pooed. What's that? Town beach is already poo-pooed. It opens us up to too much litigation and too much insurance hazard and too much. But she's saying it's not for us to decide what to put on the list. I mean, we can make a but list. But we could make the list. Long. Right. I mean, uh, right. Uh, and then we make the list. So this is how I'm imagining it. We make the list. We get the top ten of what people like. Say, you know, rate these from one to ten or whatever. And then applications may or may not come in on those things. And if they don't come in, then if no one sends in an application about wastewater, then we don't have to <clears throat> really address that. Okay, so but, <laughs> but if they do, then we have a rating system to know where it falls for people in town as in, ter in terms of their the importance. And uh, so, you, you went through that quickly, and I don't have it in front of me, and I've got a couple of questions back at you as far as ARPA money for road maintenance? That doesn't it's seem. Uh, yeah, we already have a road budget. Like, there's already. Uh, well, they were talking about like special fundings. Like, if we can get a grant and use ARPA funds as like twenty, ten to twenty percent right, right, of right, a two right. million dollar grant to repave a stretch of road or do a special right. project. Right. You know, I is do that remember that conversation now. All right. And something about an, a new administrative assistant position within the. That was actually something that she mentioned, and it was is specifically mentioned by the select board that our town is the reason why people don't want to vote, run for the select board is because it's a ridiculously hard job. And a lot of towns, Tara, you may be able to speak to this. A lot of towns have town administrators that take care of a lot of the business for the select board so they can do other stuff. Um, you they know, usually board, first have a full-time town clerk and treasurer who can then handle it, right. especially with a town right. this small. Right. It should be. You know, this right. is a teeny little town we've got here. And we've we already got like a one clerk treasurer, in all honesty, to handle. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> and Michael Gray is taking care of a ton now. Has Michael Gray has just been hired to do a lot of administrative work as far as the town goes that I just learned at the select board meeting yeah, the other day. So that, I mean, yeah. That was just something the select board mentioned. Like, it was mentioned by Paul Cerruti and it was mentioned by yes. Yes, it was. Michael Gray that, you know, that the, the, the select board job is too big. 
Nobody wants to do it because it's too big. But and our the money can't. Big the town. And the town's better served if we're all better served. You sure. Know what I mean, the select can't do it all. So I if there agree. was another. But the issue. ARPA money That's can't. My argument, but other the ARPA money, not agree. The ARPA money yeah. can't sustain that. The ARPA money, how is the ARPA money going to sustain a brand new position? We're gonna run yeah. out. We're gonna run out of it before we're ready to anyway. If they want to increase the budget and vote somebody well, in, well, that's just it. Or, it, it. It just seems you know, like put somebody that in doesn't... that position. They should. But again, and that's it's... completely up to the select board. I think <laughs> that we need to determine. <laughs> I gone to the select board meeting. They talked about it, and then one of either Grace or Kate mentioned it, and I was like, interesting, because right. that was just the select board meeting. So but, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, and then so. <laughs> We have to decide how many questions this wants to be because to the survey, how many questions we want on the survey. So it doesn't even necessarily be, need to be questions. It can be just like rank the following in priority how you'd like to see ARPA funds spent. And then there'd be, t you know, 10 things underneath and people would just rank it. So it wouldn't be necessarily, I don't know if SurveyMonkey allows you to do it that way, but... No. It doesn't have to be question, question, question. It's the same question, which is, these are all things that, that ARPA money could potentially be spent toward. Which are your favorites? I think the ARP, uh, the survey monkey thing has to stay about the same. That's about the best I could get it with the free version that they give me, unless they want me to, you know, make an enhanced version that they're willing to reimburse me for. Happy to. That's um, what I'm saying, is that if they're going to spend ARPA funds to mail these out, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if we could get a little bit of ARPA funds for the survey monkey. Well, we probably so could, I, but let's, can we, we, we need, I would like to involve Skip in some way. Just, I, I no. Just, uh, no, 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 it's not it? that. It's not that. Um, I just think sometimes the broader you keep things, the more people can ponder the possibilities. You know, while, right. while you give them lots of information, trying to hone them in on specific things, and sometimes too many specific things. Having too many choices kind of muddies the water sometimes. It, yeah, I, I, think I thought we were trying to do feasible things, you know? Right. So, so specifically, I, because I can't go back to the questions, um, there are some things that are very specific on your survey, like digitized land records, yes. um, make capital improvements, fire department, um, road main, maintenance. And then eight, implement town plan. That's like 10 questions right there. So nobody knows what that means to implement the town plan, so we would have to somehow delineate what things on the town plan. There's a whole, there's what, you know, 70 some odd pages of the town plan. So right. we need to, that's what I'm doing here is kind of breaking that down because implement the town plan, positive, neutral, negative. I, I wouldn't know how to answer that myself. That's valid. <laughs> um, and then outdoor, outdoor recreation and or environmental remediation, taking... Heather's point, I think those two may need to be separated because what someone thinks about environmental, they don't necessarily equate it with like motorized outdoor recreation. So I think if you, if, if one person might say yes, environmental remediation, another person might say yes, outdoor recreation, and the two don't necessarily go together. Okay. So, uh, so Maybe. flood mitigation, do you want to go through the list now? Do you want to email it to me? How do you want to do this? If we can get through oh, the list well, right I, now of possible can, yes, no's. Yeah. And Maybe we can just, like, decrease my list. I can go through. I lost you guys on Zoom, but I'm just going to not see you. Um, uh, so digitizing the land records, that was already on your list. Yep. The yep. fire department's on your list. Outdoor recreation, I might just have it be its own thing. I did. Um, flood mitigation? Yep. Uh, and, but, and, but what exactly does flood mitigation mean? That's one that I would be like, eh, Yeah, so I would mean? just... I would point you to the to the hazard mitigation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. We just turned off. Hang on. Oh my awesome, thank you. Um, it's a big problem. Flood mitigation, a, a huge percentage of people in Woodbury, of all of the hazards in Woodbury, which there aren't that many hazards, but of the hazards in Woodbury, flooding has been has affected the most people, from what I can see, other than just storms and power outages, which is high on the list because of our weather. But I was surprised. I didn't realize that the flooding was such an issue and it was affecting as many people as it was. Do we it's have not a, an issue. It's 
certainly not as huge of an issue as other towns, a lot of other towns. So it's not, you know, I don't, but anyway, I, I, I did not read every page, but I breezed through mm -hmm. it and flood mitigation was one of the major topics. Do we have a conservation committee? Yes. We do. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Would they be so, putting in an application for that then? You know, it might be yeah. on the town's priority, right. but if they don't put in an, in an application for funds. I did make that perfectly clear at the select board meeting that it didn't matter who was requesting money or what it was being requested for. They had to fill out an actual official application. Yeah, and I think the point of the survey is just like in case we get an application about flood mitigation, we know where it is on the list for, for the, our folks in town. Right. Oh, they, they put it as ninth, so maybe it's not high on their list, you know? So it's 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 high on the list of the those town. That affects. What's yeah. that? It's high on the list of those it affects, and if it doesn't affect 90% of people... It's like the center of Cabot, you know, they all wanted in the middle of Cabot to have this nice little, you know, pathway and such. Well, it didn't affect a lot of people, although it affected all of the school children. They still voted it down because it didn't bother 90 yeah, percent of people. Right, right. So then we allow people to vote. And then also in the meantime, you guys can read the hazard mitigation and the town plan yep. and figure out how, how important you think it is, because I, I can't. From what I read, I'm not ready for like a quiz on it, but I thought it was it was on the list, so that's okay. okay. That's where we're when we can leave it, I just didn't yeah. know exactly what it means. Or but again, I keep forgetting that this ARPA money can be used ten percent to match a bigger percentage in grants. You know, I, I, I keep had forgetting that, note that in there. Right, that needs that that that's that's a pretty important key that it can be used as matchable that's funds. Um, increase the vitality of the village center. I think you had that one. Um, Again, increase the right. housing. I, think I, I do. That one. Increase. I don't even know what that means. Right. Say that again. Increase downtown viability. Is that what you said? Increase. Down vitality of the village center. <laughs> vitality of the village center. That's, Which uh, village that was, center? Two? Yeah. And I can I can go back and give you. I mean, it, it may make sense to take the verbiage right out of the the town plan, so okay. that it's it's so, consistent. Like the town is making has made a plan. It's not ratified yet. The planning but, commission um, might want to consider putting in a application. As well. <laughs> yes, and Skip Lindsay was there. I'm sure that they yes. Yeah. And pretty well. Um, and then I don't know if you have that, Tara. Increasing diversity of housing options to meet the needs of a wide range of income levels. That was on the town plan. Increase, say. <laughs> I'm gonna just type it up and I'll send it. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Increase then, housing. Yeah, that's crazy. The only problem with that is that right now I feel like we need to decide something since we need to get this out. So I, I don't. Um, I'm, I'm I don't know. fine with yeah. adding these things. I mean, okay, as long as the line list isn't. Yeah, you know, crazy. I, I don't know. I don't even know where the Increase balance is, but it looks good to me so far. Diversity. Yeah, she can give me the exact wording later. <laughs> so it's increase. What the wording was: increased diversity of housing options. To meet the needs of a wide range of income levels. For income levels. All right. Where? I thought you had something like that on your server. I thought I did too, but I thought it was earlier in. I'm missing, unfortunately. Mine goes from one, two, three. Oh, yeah. No, two, yeah. Number two, negative economic impacts includes funding for food programs, rent, mortgage, utility, aid, eviction, prevention, aid to nonprofits. I like yours better. Let's keep yours. Okay. Public health. I like the number um, one. Um, I don't know. Address energy efficiency and envi environmental remediation. That's on the town plan. So that could be that. Remember, you were you had environmental issues and the recreation together. We can separate those and have the recreation be its own thing, and then have address environment. Energy efficiency and environmental remediation, whatever that means. Okay. Uh, All right. And then there was one protect and preserve important historic and cultural resources. I think that would be like money for the for the um, historical society. Remove the paint from the Indians' feet. Society and um, 
That's so disturbing. The cemeteries and all that stuff. I might actually apply for money to do that. Somebody painted the Indian feet. Did you see that? No. Yeah. Bad. No. Such a bummer. Historical sites? Is that what you want to say? Act to pre and preserve important historic and cultural resources. Are you friends with Elizabeth Stratton? Yeah. Oh, good. I added her last night. I'm like, if she has good ideas, she should get money too. <laughs> I know. Well, I think some of her ideas maybe fall, would fall under, perhaps under outdoor recreation. Right. I was trying to think of people that might have good ideas and where their ideas would fall. Would so would fall make sure under. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and hers will really get the most to most of our children, I think, in town. Her ideas are the most. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm almost done. Yep. So, what, mine, uh, there go one, two, three, six. Yeah, that's and actually I, how they're listed in the, um, it's actually by category. Oh, did I and I found that funky too. I got another. No worries. Say, they're I'm the still. different expenditure categories. Oh. Remember the expenditure, expenditure oh, category list? look at you. So, I went off oh. the base numbers and we kind of skipped four and five. Uh, was four was public sector employees, which I guess would be the getting an administrative assistant. Right. Uh, we wanted to add that in there. Five is infrastructure, clean water, drinking water, broadband. So maybe I need to redo that a little bit. I want to add that because broadband was definitely mentioned. Water, drinking water. I kind of grouped it, like I said, because Survey Monkey was so limited. So I kind yeah, of had right. to squeeze things together. Are there other monkeys or other surveys? Do we have to use Survey Monkey if we're going to spend money? Do we want to spend money on something that's better than Survey Monkey? I think that they would do fine. Okay. Um, it's just the limitations and what I can use yep. on a free program. Time for. And it gets better, obviously, if you pay them. I'm assuming. I right. have no idea how much you, it is. You must be able to get a lot more freedom. I saw something about 10 bucks and I went, so can we jump <laughs> subjects real quick? Can we can we can we try and book another? We just mail it. We could just mail instead of doing a survey monkey. We could just do that too. The town clerk should have everybody's address. They do. In fact, Ooh. somebody's it's just track, you know. And there's no real reason to do survey monkey over mailing necessarily. Before, right? We, right? Yeah. And and no, wait, they just they make it easier to, to write. You know. Uh, here's uh, the the. However you want one to of the Johns in town, I think, one of the Johns, and forgive me, I don't remember the gentleman's last name, did go through and condensed the general population mailing list kind of thing so that it would make sure that it would hit to every, but only once. Like, I wouldn't get one, I wouldn't get three of them, one for me, one for Kev, one for Mac. So they just built that in an Excel thing that is going to make our life a lot easier, too. Great. So can we can we make a motion right now then to scrap Survey Monkey and we're just gonna do a paper mailing? Can I make that Sounds a motion? One yeah. per voter. Can or? we do that? Oh, it's up to you. It's fine with me. I'm fine with that. Right. Yeah. Let's just do. But you're right. So each voter is gonna want to get one of these. It's not just gonna be each voter or each household. Ooh, that's a whole other bag of beans. Crap. Each property owner. Well, because they, they did not send, well, because when, <laughs> when, when we were talking, the select board didn't send something to, like, the lake summer people. Oh. You know what I mean? So I feel like this right. wouldn't be sent to the summer people. Why? It would just be sent. That would be a select board question. What do we have to ask? Because they pay taxes Are you on a it. Summer person, right? Yeah. They pay taxes, so is it? We can let the clerk decide that how it gets sent out. All right, All right. ten four, right? Because so what? Pay. We just hand it over to the select board and say, send it how you wish. Send it how? I guess not. I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. It should go. It probably should go to each voter, right? But that's yeah. a huge expense too. Let's think about that though too, because if it goes to each voter, McDonald is nineteen. Well, he should be able to vote. He does. And he did. Yeah, I, I'd let him vote on this. But is he going to take? But is he going to take the time to fill out a survey? <clears throat> is every does the survey just go to one household, or does the survey go to taxpayers? Well, maybe we can let the select board decide. Let's find out. I'll ask him. Just ask him. Where do you want it to go? 
So Heather's gonna walk away tonight with tasks. Mm -hmm. you, you and me both. You know. Alright, where was I? Hold on, select boards and ask how. But again, I think that how to distribute, I think I think we should make a phone call to Skip and see when he can meet with us to find out or maybe I'll just email Skip and find out his tricks. I will email or call Skip for sir. I already put that wording in there. Possibly using the funds to secure much larger grants. That's good wording. Yeah, it should do. Survey per household or per voter. Okay. All right. So what do we have for the, the list of things? And then do we want to change um, the rating? Do we want people to do rate it 1 to 10 or and skip the ones they don't want or rate it in some other fashion? I'm going to lose you. My, my phone just went on low power. So I don't know how much longer... There, no? I do. I'll have to let me try and call you from that. You might be able to just zoom in using the link. Yep. Let me zoom. Do you want to say yes? Allow. <coughs> I want to launch it. I want to join one. So, let me see what I'm saying. How do I? Oh, uh, I do, but Eliza doesn't have Zoom on her computer, which surprises me. Oh, well. Join from my browser. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I'm good with it either way. If you want to go one to ten, one to five, yeah, I'm. I'm good. There's 11 items that you have under the group, you know, and there's like four or five of them before that. So, Laura, I'm going to have to click on to the meeting passcode. I'm going to hang up on you and click on my on the computer because I'm going to lose you anyway. Okay. All right. I'll call you right back. Thanks. All right. Sorry to everybody out there. Leave meeting. All right. All right. All right, so meeting passcode, meeting passcode, two, five, seven, Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. There you go. <coughs> All right. So where were we? So if we're not doing survey monkey, then we could just say, here's a list of popular, you know, ARPA fund areas. Rate these from, you know, whatever. Just one to five. You think five? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Just keep it simple. I'm you super on the glide. Right. You never know how five. you feel. I like thought three was fine. I'm going to hate it. Right. Hate it, love it, don't care. <laughs> I mean, like, so you're not, yeah. So, so if you're not doing survey monkey, then we don't have them rate more of them, then we won't have any information on some of these. I'm fine with it. I'm so fine. If someone sends an application about something, we can just have no information. So maybe we can get the list down to 10 and just say, rate it in your one, one through 10, your favorite to your least favorite, with one being your favorite and 10 being your least. 10, 4. That's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a right, and that. end it being but how... Then I suggest we get rid of implement town plan provisions and leave in your flood mitigation, environmental, wastewater project, different categories, subcategories of that plan. Can you say that again, Tara? 
um, then I would suggest we get rid of the one that says implement town plan provisions because we already yeah. have, you know, the outdoor recreation, the flood mitigation, the blah, and that would get us right. down to 10, simple. That's just more specific around that, yep. those things. So can you read to me what you have? <clears throat> Digitizing land records, making capital improvements to municipal buildings, including broadband services, flood depart, uh, fire department, road maintenance, outdoor recreation, flood mitigation projects, environmental re remediation and energy efficiency, wastewater projects, increased vitality of village center, mm -hmm. protect, preserve important historical cultural resources. Did you lose her? I hope not. Did I just read that all for nothing? No, nothing? I'm still here, okay, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> I don't know why it went blank. Yeah, I don't know why it went blank. <clears throat> Did you, she read it all? Uh, oh, that, that wasn't the, the end though, was it? That was it. Did we do, we did roads and... Yep. Roads, right? Yep. Well, and she can email it to us all too. With her Two weeks broadband, <clears throat> the hateful broadband. You got broadband on there. I hate it. <laughs> it's the way of the future. Heather, get on board. <clears throat> but I feel like it isn't. We're trying to unattach ourselves. I asked, their que I asked your question about satellites, and they said it's both less environmentally sound and less efficient. It doesn't work in this area. That's and that actually came from the, the HCTV gentleman. Maybe he can talk to you about it. <clears throat> So I have broadband listed under the second one, under make capital improvements to municipal buildings, including public broadband services. So I think we need to separate those two because some people may want to update the town hall, but they don't want broadband. Broadband's kind of a hot button topic from what I'm gathering from. We can make this list others. as long as you I like. I think that we should be able to see, do you want municipal buildings changed or and or do you want broadband, but they're two different things. All right. <clears throat> So I would say increase cell and broadband coverage, and we don't need to do my sales pitch for now, social. Now, but anything. public broadband would be at municipal buildings. Is that correct? No, this would be broadband that getting the last mile. This would be people, the community members that don't have have any access to at their to house. the. You know, so broadband so. access to outlier community or what? Yeah, but, because it makes a big difference between whether everybody in the center town will have access or if people, if we're expending to hit the I think far we're regions. Expending to hit the far regions. My understanding was it was the last mile stuff, but yeah. it may also incorporate for for the build. I don't know. Because you can already. It makes come. a difference. You know, do we, we want to separate the two? at the town clerk's office right. that people can access. People can go and tap onto the Wi Fi at the they town can clerk's do that office. Now? Yes, and they can they Any can other hear spot? too. There's a hotspot at the town clerk's office and I think here at the school. Okay, you can so sit this in the driveway. is not public broadband. It's, it's broadband to, to the outliers. To I like that. Ooh, that's a good word. I love good words. All right, so and, no, broadband to outlier community members. Is that? Are you down with that? Broadband community members, yeah. It said that our town, I think 80% of our town is underserved, is not served with broadband. Yep, that's what that that's what that said in the town in the what? hazard mitigation report, did, and they said that when they came to talk to us that you know five, do they include four, West Woodbury in that number? Well, I had to pay two oh, grand because I'm 75 listen. feet off the main Route 14, yes, so for and the they wouldn't connect to me. I had to. You had to pay for the poles uh -huh. and pay for the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Like and is there anybody people, beyond you? You know who? Huh? Is there anybody beyond you? Oh yeah, tons. And up. up Buck Lake Road? Yeah. It, it was just, we were oh, in a strange you're spot. In Buck Lake Road. Yeah. Lucky. Oh. I'll behave when I go by on my dirt bike this summer. Oh, don't. don't. <laughs> Sorry. We're right there on the trail. Zip <laughs> on by a I'll times. give you a little toot. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, wow. Yeah, no kidding. All right. <clears throat> I so, so, that is a hot button, and people are into it. People want, yeah, people want. Digitizing records, making capital improvements, fire department. Outdoor recreation, flood mitigation, wastewater issues, increasing the vitality of the village center, um, creating, we're not doing the administrative issues, I don't think that wasn't something you guys thought was good, increasing diversity in the housing, blah, 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 and uh, energy efficiency, environmental remediation, um, historic and cultural resources, the roads, 
and broadband. Oh, first That's movie? all I have. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. So we ended up not and getting. You had, that's all I had, but then you had also um, the pandemic preparation stuff. That Those was were good. The prior <clears throat> questions, yes. You know, before you get into the provisions of or provisions of government services category, which all of this is getting a little need to better. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, what? I don't feel like we need to categorize it for this because it doesn't. It, those guidelines aren't don't exist anymore, so I don't think. They're not going to mean anything necessarily to the community. Well, it does. You know, that's how it's categorized. And to group it under its appropriate expenditure group, you know, we're supposed right. to ask people on the application, right. what expenditure group are you... So, so Tara, you weren't at the meeting with, with Kate and Grace, but those groupings are gone now. The, the, they aren't you know, using those at all? Up. I don't... The... They blew it up. <clears throat> so everything is now There's provisions no of anymore. government. Of why freaking open. All okay. the work that we've already done. Mm. I mean, it's great it because it's still there. there. It, yeah. it doesn't... What they were finding was that <clears throat> there were so many good projects, but they couldn't, like, fit the square peg in the round hole. So the government just said, forget it. We're not going to try and have people try and squeeze things under different guidelines. So the guidelines are gone now. Well, it's still group. Pretty <laughs> well. Sorry, we took so long to tell you that. That, that should have been a piece of key information it's right. at the it beginning. To to <laughs> okay. Should have been well, noted if we that had been able to get you that meeting, then... We so good. Well, so, but, uh, we got the we got the the PowerPoint for it, but we didn't get the recording yet. Yeah, I looked Maybe. at that. Um, What's and that? it really does. I, I got to look at that. Thank you. Um, mm-hmm. But it really doesn't change much. You know, everything's kind of grouped oh, fairly well, don't you think? I just I feel like for the simplification for the town that there shouldn't be any groupings. That we should just have a list of things. These are the things that we're that are on the town plan and have been been, been you know our municipal projects or whatever. Which of these rate them one to ten? Which of these are you most interested in doing? Do we want? And then we get applications. We'll know. Well, forty percent of the towns said that this was their number two, so this application falls in under that. You know, I, I don't quite agree with not having no groups at all. You know, I, I can list everything under together, but do you want me to put COVID vaccinations under fire department or, you know, the family rent utility aid in that list too? Is that I what you're talking I, I about? I don't want any groupings. Like, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Then it's... Then how do you... How do you how do you ask the questions? Like how, what do you mean no groupings? Because it's, not, because it's not one or the other. One application that comes in for broadband might have nothing to do with whatever else is under that grouping. Each of these applications is different. But it's going to make it 1,200 pages long, babe. No, I, 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 I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying it's here. dashes in lot, 10 lines. We have 10 things. And it's going to say, rate the following. All right, then we aren't going to have 10 things if you want to do it that way. We're going to have 25 things listed because I have the other ones grouped together above. All right, right. Those are already groups of, oh, where's question one? Public health, including funding for sponsoring COVID-free vaccinations, providing COVID testing, funding personal protective equipment, mental substance abuse services, and payroll costs for public health, safety, and other public sector staff. One group. Well, that's all question one. Question two, negative economic impacts. And that's a whole... So, you're, are you saying you want each? Do you want aid to eviction? Do you want uh, funding? hazard mitigation? And then public health and safety, and then personal protective equipment, and for them to rate each single one? Is that what you're saying? Well, let me look at your survey real quick, because there may be a way of doing it where it's not, we're not adding more things. I, I wish you were looking at the copy that I made, the new one, you know? I have from question four, digitized <laughs> records. Mine starts at question four for some reason. Make capital improvements, fire department, road maintenance, implement town provisions, outdoor recreation, <clears throat> and that's it. I don't have the first three for well, some reason. I have to say I'm not as comfortable listing them all as one great group. I would suggest we add in the ones that you did, circulate it around. If you have additional comments, you know, or suggestions on how to group it, we can look at that, I guess. But this seems very straightforward as far as, you know, 
you have fire department under one category, you have the public health under one category, you have eviction prevention and utility aid under another one. These are all kind of groups, even though I know the funding's under one big thing, but what's your priority here, fire department or child education? You know what I mean? Nowhere in here have we talked about premium pay for the fire department or for any of the other people that were on full time. Valid, you know. We have maybe not talked that at all be, uh, about the premium pay that they us. were that has been talked about at our meetings before. Right? Yes. Is that the the premium pay that some of our townsfolk who were fully active and fully engaged at the height of the pandemic? Yep. While the rest of the world was not, we haven't uh, that one word in any of this. And some people are very negative, and some people it. are very positive. And, and we, we need have to find it out. fully grouped under fire department, right. which is not specific at all. When ninety percent of that money was for hazard pay, you know right. that's not right. clear at all. When we're saying fire department, is it fire department PPE, equipment? So or I, I, I kind of hazard tend to pay. Okay broken down, Tara, in your survey, how the fire department was broken down? Uh, fire, fire department. department. There's no, but it should, in fire, there should be subcategories to the fire department, as there are subcategories to the public health, to the negative economic impacts. I think, I, I, I think I disagree with you. I think that we do, yes, I think that we oh, do well, need. I didn't, write that, I didn't write that survey question, so you can disagree with Tara on that one. No, I disagree with you in that we don't need groupings. I disagree with you right. in that we don't I mean, need groupings. You want to flesh that out, Tara, and write more things under fire department <clears throat> for your question? I, I don't know how to, I mean, other than they, they want, they need money to replace their PPE, and they need and want money. That was $1,100. Out of, I just like, had how like, much? Oh, it was a lot. I, I purposely lost that first mm. requisition because mm. I got mad, so I purposely lost it. Sorry. Probably shouldn't say that, but they need to rewrite a, a real application. Not well, just they a, can ask for whatever they, they can ask for the, the They can ask for the world. It doesn't mean that's not. what they're going to get. But, you know, if people are getting <coughs> the fire department, you know, does that mean that we're buying a new truck or does that mean that we're putting $1,500 in each fire department? In pocket. volunteers' pockets. Right, right. We haven't even talked about that. the lines of, like, so rather than, I'm just getting away from that grouping a little bit and just thinking about, like, general things. Like, for example, if we said something along the lines of, um, you know, I don't know how you state this, but sort of making right the people that lost money during COVID. So that would include, like, the library, the friends of WES, the fire department, whoever, like, Me. didn't, whoever well, lost well, money. Well, that's just it. Uh, uh, mm. Uh, that is so request, general. Maybe instead of saying the fire department, the 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 um, item is, um, you know, COVID reimbursement. That is COVID, what they re have. COVID reimbursement doesn't cover premium pay. That we're not reimbursing them anything. We're giving them, or they are asking for. I believe are going to ask for. Uh, it's 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 it's. it's Hazard mitigation pay of fifteen hundred dollars for twenty six people. Did you hear that? Yeah. So so And it doesn't mean they're gonna get fifteen hundred dollars per person, but it means that they did work their asses off while the rest of the world and so somewhere in there we need to ask the town folks if they're okay with giving the people who were here. Right, but I kind of wonder whether or not, like, pulling it away from the fire department and, and having it be a more general, like, do does the town support giving premium pay to first to, for first first providers, whatever they're called, first, first responders? Um, I think people, doing you know, that is just you know? glossing over the obvious. You know, we can be very blunt about what we're asking I here. I think. The, the well, I don't know if the, everybody know, knows what, if we, if we just write fire department, then people don't know what the fire department wants. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. Right. For, and other people might be looking for it too. There might be people who are looking for money for teachers or who knows what. People that lost so money. So take out fire department and put in hazard mitigation pay. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. All right. Because <clears throat> if people are like, oh yeah, then we know... Well, they really support this, you know. Is that hazard mitigation? It, takes out the, it also takes out some of the feelings that people might have just 
right off the bat about the fire department, whether right. positive or negative, right. what we're talking about here is does the town people support hazard mitigation pay for first responders? So road maintenance, um, are we looking there also at like road maintenance special projects or, um, you know, is that? I would say that, you know, in my mind, I'd like if, if, if an application came in, I'd like to see the road maintenance be specifically having to do with some emergency response or, you know, get, get, getting back. Not that it needs to. This is just my preference, but it, it getting back to kind of the emergency response piece and how how our town can be better prepared for a pandemic in the future or for any kind of emergency in the future. So I think that the town can be better prepared for emergency by, you know, a whole bunch of these things. One, if you pay the fire department people better or whoever better, they're more likely to come out and do the job and feel appreciated. You know, so that that's good for for our emergency response in the town. We, you know? we used to have an emergency response coordinator person. It used to be that Ann lady that lived out by you. We don't? Do we not? I don't know. Do we still? I, mean, I think, isn't it? Um, uh, excuse me. Keep, keep Excuse me, Facebook, who? Bless you, Facebook site. Um, oh, Gary. Who? He's, he's actually the... Um, Bless. I'm having COVID <clears throat> brain. Um, he's not the emergency response guy. Never mind. I don't know who the emergency response guy is. He's the constable is the word I'm looking for. Gary have, Clark. Gary Clark is, the, is a constable, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. But I think we don't have a. I don't think we have an emergency response. Right, person. there used to be that lady Anne. She's gone. <clears throat> oh, she was a nice lady. Yeah. Um. So no, I don't think we do have an emergency town coordinator. I remember when we did flood all those years ago, and the gravels were underwater, and Brandy's house was underwater, and it was coming all and... Nobody knew what the heck you did. Well, at that time, I think <laughs> Ann was still here, and maybe Arlene Cerruti, and I would be surprised if, but at the time, we got a wicked lot of emergency relief, like cots, and See. weird different things like that that were up in in the treehouse, what we call the treehouse, right? Up at where the music room are on the back side of the stage. Uh -huh. So I wonder if all that stuff is still up there. See, again, that's another argument to have a full-time town clerk treasurer who takes on those additional roles. Right, need them. right, right. That's what we did. So we what just else did I in. miss on the, um, on the, like on the front of like the stuff that they used to have in there around like hazard mitigation, like the not hazard mitigation, the uh, hazard pay, um, the COVID like pandemic preparation reimbursement, you know, COVID that kind of stuff. Because I feel like I missed some of that. And then I think that's I'd be I'd be willing to sort of think about like maybe we could take off protect and preserve historic and cultural resources. It's pretty far from anything emergency. You know, you want stuff. everything, and then you want to take off things <laughs> that you don't want to have on there anymore. So right? it's which not is it? I'm, try I'm understanding that you guys are saying, like, let's focus this so it's less things. So I'm just right. looking right. if there's anything we can take off. Yeah, but I was <laughs> trying to focus on things that we could afford to do that might benefit many, many peoples, you know, instead of... Cultural okay. significance is kind of... Well, I don't even know if that benefits. Maybe there's something here in town that, you know, right. there's a covered yeah. bridge dying that really needs help. I don't know. I really honestly I don't, don't think know. I, I don't either. I'd be shocked if there was. Is it, what, what, other than the Indian feet, what is there? We have the most lakes and towns. We've got really cool footprints and a couple sets of rocks or a set of rocks. Uh, mm. I mean, I think some of these things are very pie in the sky, mm -hmm. and it's great to put them on the list, but whether we could actually do it, especially when the applications come in, and there's two, and one person gets 90% of that money. Right. Because no, as, as, as much as the as much as the select board have said that they don't have any of this earmarked, I kind of tend to think that they kind of have an idea of how they'd like to spend a little more than they're letting on. I don't know why I think that, and that's fresh. We're a small town, and the money isn't a ton, but a little can go a long way in a small right. town. The way that Katie and Grace presented it, they were very much pie in the sky. They said, look at it from the big picture. What is the whole town's plan? 
because the money doesn't have to fit these pigeonholes anymore, right. we, it, we can look at it from, and there's a lots of ways to do matching funds for other grants. We could maximize this money to hit all sorts of areas in town. And so we should kind of get an overall picture of what it is. I mean, the town, the town plan is already an overall picture because they did a lot of surveys and they did a lot of meetings. So <clears throat> they've already gotten some ideas of what the town wants you know, for you know, money you know, to it may, Maybe it's a, a strange perspective, um, but... <clears throat> Coming from a place where I actually got into um, writing grants and getting the money rolling in and out of the town and having these projects done, when you're talking about road maintenance, you're looking at $2 million projects where you're going to get a matching grant of 10%. That's all of the money that we're getting. Maybe if it's not a 20% match. Outdoor recreation, they put in a bridge down there and a walk path in Montpelier millions of dollars. Road and sidewalks, millions of dollars. So when you're talking about putting this money in many different places and using it to get as much as we can out of here, I'm telling you, we got one, maybe two projects. We might be able to get five of them if somebody only wants, you know, $20,000 each. It's right. not so a lot. It's a lot, though, to know what the town wants. You know what I mean? Because it's going to no, be hard I, to make I can't decisions. argue with that. I don't right. argue with that. But when you're talking about being able to maximize this money, we got only like two or three things we're going to be able to do with this. Seriously. If we're going to do any sort of big project or we're looking at little amounts all along the way. Right. So is that the purpose of the survey is to find out what the town wants to do with it? And I don't think I honestly don't think a lot of people are going to check off town roads. Like I think they're yeah. going to be checking off like they want, you know, recreation. They want I, more outdoor spaces for the kids to do their thing. Like right. I, but I think it's worth putting on there and just. I mean, I don't think it's like setting the town up to think that we're going to have all of our roads fixed. Um, Okay. And I don't think anyone is, the select board knows that how far the money is going to go to. Right, so right, I hear right. what you're saying and I absolutely appreciate your very realistic, your realistic um, perspective um, because you've worked in it and it makes sense. Well, um, I, I, yeah, I'm just throwing out there that, and I, I'd like, I'd love to just like go back through the list and say like, do you want to keep it? Do you want to keep it? Do you want to keep it? Do we get rid of it? I have no so, problem keeping will, it. I'm, I'm not married to any of these. I was just putting a list together based on my research that I did today which was definitely not exhaustive and I didn't I didn't consider like a lot of those the hazard um, the so that's that wasn't so much on my list but I I do I'd love to go through the list and figure out what if any of this you want on our list keep Just in mind yeah. that list you know keep it, <clears throat> keeping in mind that list from our very, 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 very first meeting. What was on that list? I can't see it. This was the very, very, very first meeting. Yeah. Number one was a heat pump for the town office. Yeah. Digitizing the record force, which they estimate to be about $18,724 initially, but then there will be a per month charge to that as well. A scanner for the town office. I don't know what N-E-M-R-C means. I'm not really sure. I think that has something to do with access to the town office, people having access to the town office. Number five was the OWL, but I've crossed that off because the OWL has been replaced by the sound system they already bought. I don't really know what number six is Wi-Fi at the town hall. $100 a month, $1,200 annually. I'm not really sure what that means. I thought they had Wi-Fi. Didn't I you thought tell they me did. That? I did. I did just say that to you. Like, okay. Yeah, I thought the they did. The clerk has Wi-Fi. You want Wi-Fi at the town hall too? Oh, sure. So the town hall is right here. The town probably clerk's so office. we could do Zoom meetings there. Yes. Oh, okay. So right, this is the town hall. Ten Got forward. Uh, they want to potentially upgrade the insulation and the water sewer within the town hall because I'm being assured that the town owns the town hall and that the building next door only owns the property. They own the ground, but the town owns the building and its contents. I did drive by today and saw at least six exterminator trucks already there at the town hall today, so I don't know what is going on down there. They have a bird issue there. They have a bird issue there, gross. 
So then something about a projector screen being installed in the town hall to the tune of about a thousand dollars. So that would fall under updating community meeting space. I'm sorry? Updating, updating community, meeting community meeting space. Was another area that Which <coughs> would include <coughs> all so that of the those. community meeting space is something, you know, so that you'd have Wi Fi there and you could everybody could meet there instead of at that meet room that you're in right now. Right, because it's freaking cold in that building. I've been in there. Yeah. The only time that, it was hot was say the only time it was hot in that building was for Gretchen Casey's fiftieth uh, birthday party. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it being cold at all that. No, day. no, you and me both, sister. <laughs> God, that was fun. <clears> that was so fun. Um, so you know that that that's a list. But you know, obviously, that's it's not an application. It's, it's list, not anything, so. but it's an idea of how funds. I guess I'm wondering, what is the purpose, and maybe we've already gone past this, but what would be the purpose of the yeah. Not like Pur we would have people rate one through five under a grouping because each grouping stand, <clears throat> each item under that grouping stands alone. It shouldn't be measured against the other thing in that grouping. So uh, that's why I say we should put them just all in one because the groupings don't mean anything in terms of the ratings. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. valid. Yeah. Oh, why you do know, you keep doing this? Early childhood education is much different than, you know, home visiting or um, services for unhoused persons. All right. All right. I'll split it up. I just don't know. You That was taken off of the um, the ARPA site. Like, do we want all of that stuff? Is that all? Does that? I, I can't. Well, yeah, you know, these are things that are supposed to be important to our community, right? right. And childhood and education. It's not on our town plan for being important to the community, but I'm sure there's, I mean, it sounds important. I couldn't hear everything, but it sounded important. Yes. But I, I don't, is it, does it sound like things that would happen in Woodbury? Or is it just things that might happen in a city location? Or Do we even have any child care centers in Woodbury anymore? We don't. Right? Not even one? So, you know, these funds could be used to start one? To have, if somebody was interested in one and wanted to apply for monies, the only thing that stinks about that is Kevin has a friend of his whose wife does it, and she just had to have her entire house retrofitted, hardwired <laughs> sprinklers and fire alarms that go right to the fire department. Like, immediately, as soon as it goes off, it goes off here and it goes off the fire department. <laughs> right. So somebody, if they wanted to open a daycare, they would need to do that. Well, and ARPA funds could help. Yeah, because I know that it was mentioned house. about, you know, using portion of the school for something like that for right. younger students. And it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from everything. Yeah. So it shouldn't be too hard. Right. Right. I don't so know I if anybody has any interest in a being a daycare provider in Woodbury yeah. or, or taking that on. I have no idea. But maybe that line should stay in there because even though there isn't, somebody should know that there is an opportunity there for you to do this. And not yeah, only so it improves you, you, it improves yeah. Woodbury, it improves... Is there anything else in that line that we could get rid of? Was there... What other things were on there? Daycare? Uh, um, I, oh, I wouldn't take really any of them off. Right. Food programs, rent, mortgage, utility aid, eviction prevention, and aid to nonprofit organizations. No. I wouldn't take those off. I'm not taking any of those off. Right. Mm -hmm. no, no. I don't see anything here at this point that should be removed. If you want to add some, I guess we can get their take on that too. But the list is long. I feel like so long as we can leave it to an eight and a half. By 11, fit as much information on there as you can, but if it goes beyond one page... Back and front? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but then how do we mail it? Does it get stuffed into an envelope? And with a of housing options one, can we take that one off? I'm sorry? I'm just wondering if some of the ones that you had on that first page, could we take off my diversity of housing options? Because I think maybe you already had something that hit that. I'm trying, to cut, I'm trying to cut down if we can. <clears throat> um, no, I don't see a second diversity. You're, I, I think that was something you added. Do you want to take out diversity of... That was that was something that was said to be important in the plan. That's good. And I think it's important. 
So okay. I don't know how we're going to create it. I don't know how we're going to get diversity <laughs> off of $200,000, but yeah. Sorry. you tell me. Um, <laughs> I can leave it. Leave it. Okay. Leave it. I wish I could email this list to you. I just don't have access. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi with this computer. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. No, I just can't. It's, oh, it's oh, a work temporary. computer. I can't do it. Ah, right, right, right. Security stuff. Yeah. You're all smarticle particle and all I that. Don't, I'm not sure what to do because I do feel like I hear what you're saying, that the list is too long to say, you know, rate your top ten. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe you just have people rate their top ten out of a long list of things. And just don't just do don't rate the ones you don't care about. How about I do this? I, I leave it the way it is. I do another version where we just list them all out and then the select board or whomever can just decide which one they want to mail and mm -hmm. I vote yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, I'm right. perfectly fine oh. with it. I think we have basically our list of all the things we can think of that people might be able to do feasibly and even things that aren't feasible you know so we find out what they're interested in and we let it fly i like that do you so like if you that want me to, yeah so so the in in the scenario of, of the one that i'm considering it's just starting out with you know your your um the blurb at the beginning where you're talking about arpa yeah. and then it, and then afterwards, it just says, um, please rate the following list of options from one to 10, leaving blank any that are not, you know, that you're not interested in. One being the best and 10 being the worst. Okay. Or ten, one being your favorite and 10 being your, you know, least favorite with the ones blank being ones you don't care. Isn't that about. the other way around typically? You can do 10 to 1. I don't care. Okay. You know what I mean? Any, many. I think Jericho did it 1 to 10, and then it messed them up when they went to do scores because it, you had to, the lowest score was the highest. So I think you're right. It should go 10 to 1, with 10 being your favorite. One being the least. The, then yeah. the one that gets the most points is the winner, not the one that gets right. the least points. Go 10 to 1. Okay. I love Kiss. Keep it simple, silly. Love. I had three. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah right. I have three. Yes, I'm doing, I like three too. Do you and like I feel like not? one to five is enough, think? but yeah, if I go one no. to ten, that's fine too. Um, I just want so a you'll feeling work from up people. another. Yeah, I can do a second version and then get that to us when you can, and then maybe just. When you're happy with it, email to us and the You know, I don't maybe? think it's whether I'm happy with it or not. I think it's whether Laura's happy with it or not. <laughs> so would you like me to just email it to you and you, you know, can fiddle with can it? Just, I'm off on COVID leave right now. So if you want to just, I can I can work on typing this all day tomorrow. I've got the whole uh, day off. It's all typed up. You can just cut and paste and do what you like with it, okay? Okay. That Perfect. sounds good. All right. All right. All right. And just so you guys know, for just to let the record straight, it's not really what I want. It's what I was trying to work out with what Katie and Grace said right. at the meeting yep. and go, doing the research on the town. I, I liked your survey, Tara. I just felt like it needed a little a little more. And if we need to pay for it, then that, you know, but we're, we're not going to do the Survey Monkey anyway. I think that's great. I think just skipping Survey Monkey and just doing mm, paper. Much easier. Yes. We'll and keep... I, I am not a survey maker. I'm not, this is my very first thought of making a survey. So I think I might have done one in graduate school or something. But <laughs> I don't, I, that's why I was wondering if Skip Lindsay had any ideas about surveys because um, he put together a bunch of them. He has, and it seems like he... Uh, and I will call him tomorrow at a decent hour. I probably won't call him tonight when I get home, but I will call him and just pick his brain. And while we're here, uh, when do we meet next? Before we hang up. I'm going to open um, I, uh, There was talk about us doing another meeting. Like, it'll look at calendar. We typically meet, what did we say, the first Wednesday? I'll bring my phone. Lost. Yeah. So today's the 16th. Today's the 16th. And we, the first Wednesday would be the 6th. That feels far away for me. Because I, I go away the last two weeks of April. The deadline's the first. 
I think Dennis is taking <laughs> some time off too. I think he's skipping out of town here. I don't remember when. So do we want to meet again? If I don't want to put any pressure on you. You've got COVID time. You. I'm available anytime. Want to just forward survey information on? It looks like we have application in there that read a sent. That looks fine. We may have to change the date on that. You I didn't look at the application. The it looks it looks much the same. It just uh, I didn't print it, but yeah, it looks much the same as the one we have. Um, By wording, I just mean the due date. The whole thing we were talking about about how to how to frame the due date. We still haven't gotten into that one. We still really don't have an answer for that, do we? So they, you said that they, you basically think that they're okay with us framing Just that due date. Just taking it. Taking the bull by the horns. I yes. thought you so said April 1st was it. They would like April 1st. They would like us, They would like April 1st, and they would like it to be all done. But I, that's fine. They can, they so can like it. So are you guys what, okay with having, like, three different due dates? for the, Like, the first one is, say, I don't know, April 30th or something. On that day, a certain amount is... is you know, you you have your you have your stuff in by that date, first come first serve until in the you know whatever. No, it could be a rolling date, could be a specific due date. Um, Can we go back? Because I'm going to get confused for a minute here. Let's go back to survey. Let's talk about the survey for a minute. Tara's going to email Laura survey information. All of it. All of it. You're going to cut and paste and kind of repiece as to how to 1 through 10, 1 to 10 to 10 to 1. Yeah, and I'll send it back to you guys. When do you two think that can happen? I can have it two or five minutes after I get home. Okay. So when you'll take all day tomorrow is the 17th. If we give you 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. You think you can have a call end of the, end of the day, 5 o'clock? Definitely. Okay, survey done at 5 p.m. on 317. So can we, you'll probably then email it to the group for a quick perusal by the group. By the group, is it okay to approve that by the group or will we have to actually meet in person? Or can we approve that? We can approve approving online. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can I make a mark? Is that, is that fair? I don't think we can approve it online. I don't think we can meet that way. It's got to be a public meeting. It's okay. You know, as far as I'm concerned, right. the words that are in here, the different things that we have labeled in here are absolutely fine with me. However you want to rearrange right. it. I'm I trust that you'll do it right. Yeah, right. Content. right. This is just right. uh, okay. editing, so yeah. that's allowed. So yeah. we're both fine with you taking that and pull by the horns, mm -hmm. and then at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon when you feel like you're done with that, send it on to the town clerk's office. Send it on to the select board. Send it. So you, do you want me to send it to you first or just send it right to the clerk? All, all of us at the same time. Go for it. Yep. Because, because <laughs> what, if, what if you guys decide you... Didn't, weren't we still deciding whether we were going with Tara's or mine? Like, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to I make don't it. even care at this point. I think that she's good <laughs> with your editing. Yep, she's good with your editing. The and words your, are there. We've yep. discussed the different topics, however you want to do right. it. However really, you want to re-edit it into condensing or however you want to, we trust. Yep. That Do you, I have your permission to um, seek consults from Skip Lindsay on the survey? Sure. And maybe even... I don't want to say it out loud, but right there, can you see that is his? And maybe I, what? Cell phone. Can you see that? Yes, I. I yep. I'll stop moving. Yep. Um. So I may. I may just send it to him and see what he thinks, since he's Ten not four. a regional. Absolutely. He's on the, you know, just to double check, just to have a little yeah. Cause. Well, I think if you're going to make significant changes to it, you ought to mention it. Just, just saying. Yeah. But, you know? No. If there's any significant changes, I think we're gonna have to meet next Wednesday yeah. and, okay. and do it. So okay. that I'll leave it like that. But if he has something to say, like instead of saying rate one to ten, why don't you do, yep. um, you know? Yes. No. Like the, the way that <laughs> like dislike is, neutral. Right. <laughs> right. Right. You might like that better. Okay. So, and I'm and I'm okay with that. Okay. I just well, I want to hear from somebody how how does it work best for people's brains. Okay. Okay. So.
Yep. I think the rating one to 10 is a little bit like something you give a sixth grader. So I'm not sure whether that's the best way to do it. So right, um, right. I'm not married to that idea. And you did get his number off my. Yeah. Yeah. I have his number. Thank 10 you. Four. All right. Um, yeah, okay. So that's the survey. So the survey five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, you'll involve skip. If there's any significant changes, then you will involve us. Otherwise you'll go ahead and send it I guess to the select board, they'll have to print it, and we'll have to stuff the envelopes. I mean, I don't know how that works. No. I have no <laughs> idea how that, that's definitely 700 envelopes. <laughs> I, I don't know, because, yeah, I, I don't know I'll how that works. Them. I'll send it to them and see what they have to say. So, um, then, so then, from the survey, the survey, let's, in a perfect world... I'm just going to open my calendar again. So the survey, you'll be done in a perfect world by 5 o'clock on the 17th. Uh, can we say we can have it in mailboxes by, like, the 23rd? That or, depends on the post office, doesn't it? Shush, from your lips to God's ear. Uh-huh. That could be two weeks. Some people aren't getting it. But it doesn't matter, you know? Right. It comes back, it comes back. What date do we want to put on the bottom of the survey? To have the survey back in our hands by... Now. Fill it out and put it back now. As, as soon as possible. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. So somehow you're going to have to put that on there. Is that you're going to have to read it and turn it around as soon as possible. Deadline for survey answers. April you gotta, 1st. Thank you. That's exactly April 1st is the <laughs> deadline for the survey. So I think that's has nothing to do, so we, we're not even going to put an application deadline down until we can have a couple weeks to go through the surveys, if we even need that much time. But I think if we do April 1st for the survey, then that gives us, April 1st is a Friday. We'll we don't actually even need to look through the surveys. I mean, the application can go out before we, the surveys help us to decide how we're going to deal with applications once they, once they come in. We oh, had we the, have you guys had that meeting on what, the 16th, right? February 16th? That was the informational meeting, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. How many people attended, do you think? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah? I was shocked. I was shocked by the amount of people there. How many were you 15, estimate? 20, 25 people there? 20? Between Zoom and yeah. being there? Yeah, maybe like 25. So that there, there are core people who are really keeping... Yes, and there were some. Going on. There were some good ones there too. Yeah, there were some different. People faces. are watching these meetings as well. So, listening to me swear. All right. I guess it shouldn't take that long, you know, if right. if they are on it and they know about it. But then again, I would still love to give people who haven't even thought about that, and this survey is the first thing they're getting in their hand, going, "Oh wow, that's a great idea." It's totally true because on that, in that vein, or on that topic, Jason Thompson, who was running for select. A select board seat this past yeah. session didn't even know now this kid has been Thompson he's been in Woodbury since God wore sandals they've been in here for forever had no idea that there was a pre-time meeting meeting had no idea and and I've only been in Woodbury for 20 years and we've had a pre-time meeting meeting for 15 and he had yeah. no idea so it's wicked crucial that we all keep talking about it and we do get the survey out to as many hands as possible because what we all think is common knowledge other people in town actually have no freaking clue. So I want to just posit that we could put this out at the same time as we put the application out because those two are sort of separate. So the the survey, or you are you say I'm sorry. Is the application one page? You just yeah. made a different argument. I'll, I'll put Why can't that. you put them on the okay. same thing? And by getting the survey, it gets people's juices flowing, and then they might apply. Why can't we put the survey on one side and the application on the other? Why can't we? We could. Yeah. So, the, so for application due dates, can you guys tell me what you think about that having several different due dates and, and how would we divide up the money those due dates? <laughs> Without knowing how they plan on dispersing the money, I don't really know that we can answer that part of it. I thought we just decided that they were letting us decide that. And yes. We were going for it. Oh, we're no, just... we're assuming that they're going to let us decide that. What they told you was April 1st. Right? What they hoped for was April 1st, right? yes. So saying that, oh, we'll just assume that they're going to take whatever dates, that's great. We can assume whatever we want. They will do what they do. 
You know, so again, it might be a good idea to just poke them real quick. And I poked say, them. I talked to Peter on good? the phone. I sent Heather with this question to them. I asked Peter to address it at the at that meeting. Yeah. I don't know how to poke anybody anymore. I want to know <laughs> whether or not they would honor us having several different due dates. Well, you so got their answer, yeah. Well, which was... You got their answer, which was April first. So it's kind of up to you whether you want to take so. the answer. Peter said, "That sounds good. We're looking for you guys to make that decision." So then go with right. it. Yes, I can't say what I really want to say right now. Um, <laughs> I do believe that they, with whatever we come back to them with, I do think that they will honor. I, I really I do. I don't. I, I, I really don't, do. Because I told Peter specifically. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Heather. Go ahead. No, it's just I really do. I, that's, that's it. it you know, go. <laughs> yeah. No. I just I, I I explained to Peter that my concern was, which was what Dennis had brought up, which was a great concern, is that we don't want to be disingenuous, where we tell people, you know, you the first grouping is going to get sixty thousand or some such, the next grouping is going to get this amount. And we can always roll people's applications from the first grouping to the second grouping, or you can re you can reapply if you didn't get it for the first time. I but, think but just I think just two days. Don't want to say we're only giving out sixty thousand, and then they give away the whole amount on the first time. I don't think we ought to make any promises on how much they're going to give away. That's completely up to you, or up to them. Yeah. We can get applications if you want to put a deadline. Absolutely, you know. I feel like there should only be two deadlines, only because we're only getting two chunks of money. One chunk of money is already here, so we can pick that deadline. The second chunk of money isn't going to come until August-ish of next year. But so we have till 2024 to spend this money. So I'm sorry. It doesn't. 2024, right? Did you just say 2024? We only have till 2024 to spend this money. Yeah, and then it, it needs to be actually dispersed by 2026. Yes. So we've okay. got. Yeah, so it's not like we don't have all the time in the world, but they don't want to take all the time in the world. So we do and we don't. Right. They have told me, like everyone I've spoken to has been like, whoever's telling you or whatever feeling you're getting about rushing, it's not not happening. We're not rushing anybody. Right. Michael said that. Peter said that. April 1st. Pete Gray Perfect. said that. Everybody's <laughs> saying don't rush. So then. And, but, and I'll listen to the town meeting, but the impression that Steve got from it was that they were very much trusting what yes. process we were going through. Yes. And that the first steps were to get the survey out and to get them a copy Great. of our applications. So yes. They could see. Ding, ding, ding. And I think all surveys, if we're going to do the survey and the application together, then have the survey and the application first round of deadlines. We'll say survey deadline for April 1st and then application deadline should that be a little bit longer, or should it both be April 1st? Well, if we're doing the survey and the application together, we have to do it on two separate sheets if we want them to send it at two different two times. Two different times. So I'm just trying to think. Well, we don't have to send the surveys. I mean, the sorry, we are sending the surveys. We don't have to send the applications. Those we can just leave at the town hall, and people can pick them up. Why? I mean, if we're talking about getting as much information out yeah. as possible to as many people and making this broadly Mail available, Mail we want to get it to everybody, yeah. not just a select few yeah. who can get here. Everybody who's getting the survey ought to get an application without having to seek it out. Yes. If they yeah. haven't sought out like the it. survey. So, yeah. yes. I like it. Yep. I like it. Yep. Whether it's so two pages, you know, if we have to send two pages and staple them pages. together and they send it separate, whatever. But I think, I really do think yes, that they should have, have everything. I agree. It's a, it's a good way to get it in a lot of people's hands. Yep. I yep. Um, so, I think April 1st is really not giving people enough time. I no. feel like it isn't either. I don't feel like that's enough Taxes time. Taxes are due on the 18th. What? <laughs> so everyone's working on it. Make it coincide with tax due date. March 1st. That's fine. I mean, yeah, May 1st. May 1st. That's May 1st. Fine too. Sure. Oh, wait, that's a Sunday. So May 2nd. May 2nd is a Monday. I like that too because I'll be back in town and we can like meet and, you know, start yep. doing our thing. Dennis so will be back. Yeah. We'll meet. We'll meet on the fourth because that's the Wednesday. Yep. All right. So we're gonna have a due date. Applications. 
Uh, 5, 2, 22. Mm -hmm. uh, surveys, are they going to be due at the same time? Lay There's there. no reason why we can't get them at the same time. Did That's it. so far out. Laura, did we lose you? No, okay. I'm still here. I was thinking, I wonder, are they going to give, uh, are we going to give like a self-addressed envelope in with it so that, you know what I mean? So it's... All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much money. No. How are we going to get the surveys back? A lot. They got to mail them. Right. They're going to have to mail them. They can start they up can their own 20, 30, 32 cents. They can do their 58 cents. cents, you know. That, that's <coughs> so much money to send out to a thousand people. Right. They can either mail it back or drop it off. Drop it off. Yeah, they could do that for free. Yep. 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 <laughs> so, if our application is due on May 2nd, and that would be... For the first disbursement of money of the 1,300 some odd, 301 something. You know, if we're going to have two disbursement dates, we probably ought to have two informational meetings, two surveys, two floods of information, because the people who get it the first time are going to apply the first time. The people who didn't know anything about it might be applying the second time. You know what I mean? They won't yeah. know diddle I about what's going on. I think we could definitely on. have another informational meeting, you yeah. know. Cool. In all of that survey, just send up the same survey again. So, do you um, want to like mark it for a year from now? I, I, I was thinking like we could really make it sometime down the road. Yeah. You know, like not mm -hmm. a know? year. I don't know what other people think about that, but I love the idea of a it's year. It's 22, 23. It has to be spent by 24, I, dispersed by 26. I think it's good timing. Yeah. Give it a, you know, we could do the same thing that we did yeah. this time, have the informational meetings around the um, February, you know, town meetings and junk, and hopefully everybody will get the information, buzz about it. We might even be able to get a little more in there and get the survey into the town report this time, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and get it back in an even easier and we way. Can, like, there's a lot, Katie and Grace were saying that there's a lot more money like coming out very soon for roads and infrastructure and all this stuff. I know it's been coming, but there's even more money coming. Hey, tell the road commissioner to send in an application. Yeah. Right. So that's the point. <laughs> Get his grant like, lined money. up, put in the matching fund request, and the select yeah. board can And wait. he's got Michael Gray on his side, so they definitely will know how to do all that. Right. It shouldn't yeah. be. So that's an argument for waiting, because by, by the time next year comes around, we'll know... Did they already get the money they wanted? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Really Are you saying wait for the first disbursement? No, Because no. in all honesty, if Michael Gray's putting in an application for a big project and half the money's already gone, he's going to have less than he thinks. Yeah. You know, if the road commissioner be, does. The right. first well, disbursement should be that May 2nd date of this year, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, that's the first okay. application date. I don't know when yeah. they're going to disperse it, right. but I'll like I said, it, so. if they're going to wait until next year to go ahead and try to get some of this funding, they're going to have a lot less to work with, you know, for yeah, those big road know. projects. I uh, no, I'm just saying that, that Katie and Grace were, I was just arguing for your idea of, wait, of having a sec, the second installment spent next year. That's uh, fine, but these big projects that people want to do, and I'm going on the record here, these big projects you want to do, I really suggest you get these applications in because the money's not going to go that far. Right. It's not. It's not. But, all right, so... Some of it hasn't, what, I, what I was saying was some of it hasn't even been sent out yet. Like the government hasn't sent it out. So there's no, there's nothing for them to apply to with regard to some of the things that Katie and Grace were talking about. Like that the road it's coming. Stuff. That's the road stuff. stuff. But the road stuff is all. You know, right. I understand that, but there's going to be less of a pool for them when they are applying for it. So yeah. hopefully they're looking for their grants now. Hopefully they're trying to find their matches now and get yeah. that money application in. Right. That's it. Right, right. Get, get educated. Get your money. That's right. Mm. Oh. Um, so, along the lines of getting educated, what I'm going to do is listen to that town meeting from this week that I missed on Monday. Um, and, Heather, I would love it if you might take the time to listen to the meeting about broadband because it was really interesting and I asked exactly what your questions were. I okay. think I hit your questions and I think it was interesting to hear what they had to say about it. Do you remember what February you sent it to me? So I'll just look for your 
to yeah. select. Did I, I think I. I think he did. Yeah. yeah. But it was super interesting. It's not very long. And it really does answer a lot of the broadband questions. I don't, I mean, I don't know if they're the people that should be doing it, but it does sound like it needs to be done. Um, so that your question of whether they're the right people for the job mm. is another question altogether, which I can't possibly answer. I don't but, you know, again, I, I always question whether something should be done. Something that I had to pay for out of pocket shouldn't necessarily right. be done for free for somebody else just because they're further away. Um, but again, that's something that can be weighed by the people in the select board, you know, whether the need, you know, going out to these roads, whether they should pay for this themselves, knowing that they're on a class four or class three road. You moved out there knowing. They moved well, out there but, knowing. Right. Or whether we should support their, you right. know, their home life. Because yeah, Washington Electric will business. charge you per pole. Green Mountain Power will charge you per pole. You know what I mean? Comcast charges you per pole. Yeah, if, if you're gonna, I, I, I can't, I can't argue for it, but I would recommend listening to that um, meeting because it was really informative and it made me think. I, I had a really, I mean, I sort of take it for granted because I have coverage at my house, so I hadn't really thought about. You know, the the problem is that you know when the telephone wires were put up, the the government was funding that. It was a, it was a utility, and now there's no money in it for these companies to go that last mile. There's just no money. No. So they, no, there's all the people have to pay for it. There. Yes, there's also some money out there right now that they're trying to access through this co-op. So they've established this co-op. It's with a guy in Northfield, and they're trying to pool the money to entice that last mile to happen for these people that can't get it because nobody cares. There's no money in it. So that's the whole argument is that it's, yeah, they could, but if it's simply not going there because they don't want to pay for it to go there, then these people are, you know, uh, in, living so, yeah, with their choices. Well, right. Living with their choices and they're going to pay for their own access to broadband. But that's not saying that they can't pull together. And, right. you know, Everybody. come up with an application and put it in saying, hey, we'd like to have broadband on this road. I mean, we're not talking about hitting broadband everywhere, right? So I people think so. put yeah. in an application, right? It doesn't necessarily right? need to be ARPA funds either, so I'm not arguing for broadband. Right. No, I, I'm not saying you are. Name. I'm just asking whether it they need to put in an application for it. Right. Well, I don't know, because I, I, if they... Laura? Do you know? Do, do, do residents, are, are they going to be putting in singular applications for broadband? Or group applications? Or group applications, oh, like say, uh, all the residents up on Buck Lake Road have all gotten together and they've decided that, I'm right. just pulling that out of my yeah, butt, yeah, yeah. and they've all decided they're going to get together and they're going to join forces and they're going to each chip in for 300 the broadband bucks and to put broadband. in an application for ARPA funds. Would they put in the ARPA fund application? Would the town put in the ARPA fund application? <laughs> for the broadband money. Who, who wants yeah, the broadband money? I'm trying to remember. Maybe I took notes on it. Um, I, it wouldn't. They did. They never even really talked about ARPA funding at that meeting. If I remember, they were just talking about what what the purpose of this co-op is and what they're trying to do in the, these rural towns. Well, if we can't um, make it feasible for people to ask for the money, they're, they're trying to pool their resources and make it like worth their while to come. You know. Um, and what I think what the ARPA funding was supposed to be for was specifically, if I remember correctly, to offset some of the charges for the individual people. Because I said, well, how does this serve Woodburyans? That was one of Heather's questions. Mm -hmm. It's like, is our money going out of town or is this serving Woodbury? And the argument was that it would be offsetting some of the costs, I think, for the specific town members. So it cost you $2,000. You could apply for a grand. And our money know. will pay for a grand, and <laughs> and you'll pay a grand. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's what you mean is. But all right. people again, people should consider grouping for this sort of broadband thing. You know, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, so that's why they're in that co-op. Try to find, you know, the expense of it. Try to find out how much you can get to offset it, and get in an application. And keeping in mind that this broadband is going up on telephone poles and the existing infrastructure that is I asked him about that question too. 70 okay, years old or better. I mean, Washington Electric Lines and Green Mountain Power Lines, they're entirely different 
entirely different animals. Great Mountain Power, 90% of their yeah. line access is out of a bucket on the side of the road. That seems so hard to get together within the next month. Washington Electrics, <laughs> right. How are they, people going to do this in the next month? <laughs> I, I, <sighs> The, 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 I'm looking at my notes. They're getting mo no town tax money. They get money from revenues from grants, loans, and subscription fees from users. Um, 782 addresses. No address in our town has 100% service. There's no fiber. Because um, it breaks, and it's expensive to fix. <clears throat> and when you have solar people who aren't paying it... The fixing would be similar to if you like signed up for cable or something. It'd basically be your responsibility, or like you know how it depends on where it hits on the town lot. Like if it's mm -hmm. from your town property to the pole, it's their responsibility, and so it wouldn't fall on the town to pay for that. Um, they will have someone do pole inventory. Will be hard with electric poles. They'll look at what they need would be needed. Um, how how and. and how old is the infrastructure that they want to put this? Be hanging on these poles. Uh, 2023 construction plan to start. No, no, they don't have a construction firm yet. Um, they have a three million in grant funding for pre-construction design. Nine million more available for CV fiber, for a total cost of 50 million. And we got two hundred grand. We got two. We got two hundred and thirty thousand. <laughs> It's a million yeah, dollars. So I, I, before we, I mean, maybe they, maybe they won't even put an application in, and you don't need to right. get educated right. on it. But I think it's it's partly our responsibility to like learn about this stuff, and mm -hmm. and I I can't possibly, I didn't have an opinion on it, so it was interesting to hear what they had to say. So, and I still don't know what my opinion is on it in terms of ARPA funding, but. I um, think people can get in their applications if they can get their they, ducks in a row, hopefully. They can ask for it. They can yep. ask for it. We will put it before the select board and they can decide what they want to do. I am but if they're gonna ask keeping it simple, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it simple. Yes. Yeah. Right. And, and it's going to be, if, if broadband is a thing, it will be the select board that's asking for it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they should still obviously fill out the application. They still have to, even if it's a shuffle of, it's still part of transparency. They still have to I do don't, it. I, 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 it might be the select board. I think it's, it's probably going to be that, the co-op people that ask for it. That ask for it. Yeah. Huh. All right. Maybe it is. I'm tired. I'll don't <laughs> What's that? I said, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And I think it's going to be like a lot of getting ourselves, like when we get these applications in, it's going to be like getting ourselves educated as to what does this application mean? Like, right. we're, what is CD fiber? What does it mean? You know, and I think, learn. frankly, we're going to be, I'm going to be shocked at any number of applications. I'm putting my bets on about five. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. So, leaving here today, we all have tasks to do. Do we want to meet next week, or do we want to wait until April 6th? You'll be gone? No, oh, I'm gone. cutie. <laughs> they finally, it took them 100 years to get a pooch, and they finally got Gus. <laughs> we had two. This is Millie. We have two dogs now, Heather. Oh, my God. You went, guys. You went crazy. You <laughs> so, you'll be here for the 6th? Do we, I'll be here for the 6th. Yeah, do, you want to meet next week? Do we want to meet the 23rd or do you want to wait till the 23rd, the 30th, or the 6th? Do we need to? We're sending the application to the select board, the survey to the select board, they're mailing it out. Do yep. we need to do anything until the due date? No. No? No. So we'll wait. I don't think so. Meet again on April 6th just because it's our regular standing meeting. We can do that. Let's do that. If there's anything to catch up on, right. I'm good for a 10 minute meeting. 10 4? 